Welcome, friends. So how many of us are aware of the Sesame Street character named Elmo? Raise your hand. Most of us know Elmo. So Elmo is red, and he's a Muppet. And Elmo is known in the Muppet sphere as one who is very good-hearted, caring. So Elmo had a bad week this week. It all started on Monday when sweet and innocent Elmo asked on X, formerly known as Twitter, Monday morning, how are things going? And the response was where Elmo was bashed. How dare you ask this question? And then people had nothing good to say. They had all these terrible things that are going on in their lives. There's a malaise that's taking place in our country. Politics are crazy. The world is going down. It's just horrible, horrible, horrible. Thanks to this, Elmo is now traumatized over the weight of the world's problems on his little red shoulders. How are things going? How would we respond to that question? Many of us would say, well, we're carrying crosses in our lives. And so we're going to look at the gospel lesson for today and then pick up into the book of Romans to help us with a part of the gospel lesson for today. So Jesus says this to his followers. Let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. So there are the three parts, and say each one with me. And I'll put it in our terms. Let us deny ourselves. ourselves. Take up our cross cross. and and follow Jesus. Very good. So the first one is deny ourselves. How dare someone deny us something? How dare him? I'm not going to give up things that I have that I've worked so hard in my life, and you're asking me to deny that? We don't like to be denied things. We can react angrily. One thing I have learned in working with um, uh, disciples in need is not to say, it's just not say the word no. People don't like to be told no. So I've learned to say I can't do this for you, but this is what I can do for you. And then people feel so much better. We don't like to be denied things in our lives. I think about those of us that are in church today and those that are live streaming with us today. There are probably other things that may have come along on your calendar that you could have done. Sleep in. Watch TV go on a day trip somewhere. And yet we found that we denied ourselves those opportunities to come here to worship God and give praise for Jesus in our lives. But let me tell you, friends, there are many, 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 many Christians who find other things to do on Sunday morning. Because otherwise, the churches would be filled to overcapacity. It would be like Easter or Christmas Eve every week. Deny. We want things like power. Things that we can do with money rather than having peace in our lives. The second aspect, Jesus says, is take up our cross. And I know that in my ministry, I've heard it several times. Many people say it. They say, you know, God won't put on us more than we can bear. And I kind of, you know, sometimes I feel it's schmaltzy. But if we look at what that says, what it is saying is that we have the crosses in our lives, but we have to let God be in there with us in our journey and not do it ourselves. We can say, oh, I've got all this stuff on me. I can't do it anymore. I can't bear it anymore. But we have to remember that we have to lay that cross down and leave it to God to help us in our journey of life. And so many times, like the individualistic way that we live in America today, 
We think we can do it all ourselves. We don't need anyone else. But when we have these crosses in our lives, it is essential that we allow God into the equation, that we allow Jesus, that we allow the movement of the Holy Spirit in our lives to help us with those crosses that we bear. Some crosses are not voluntary. Medical diagnosis, age. As we get older, we have to rely on others. And many of us who have dealt with aging parents, the, one of the biggest struggles is loss of independence. Cross to bear of broken marriages. Cross to bear of difficult children and family relationships. For me, cross to bear with an imploding United Methodist Church. We all have crosses to bear. And so to help with that, we can look at what Paul is saying in Romans 12. And he writes this. He says, rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. Those are three ways to help us when we have these struggles, when we have these crosses in our lives that we have to bear. Rejoice in hope. And what is hope? An optimistic state of mind? Hope, I know that there is hope. There is a brighter future for me. And we rejoice in that. We have these crosses, but we have to hope that life is going to get better. Be patient in suffering. Who wants patience? I don't want patience. If we ask people what is the main flaw in their lives, it'll say it's lack of patience. We're an instantaneous, instant gratification society. Everything is electronic. We want it right now. But we have to learn to be patient. Remember, it's not our time But it's God's time. And God's time is very different from the time that we know. And then the third one is persevere in prayer. I love that word persevere. Where we continue in the face of difficulty. We don't give up. Friends, if we have a cross in our lives, don't give up. Persevere. Pray. Come to church. Talk to Pastor Dave. I won't tell anyone. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering. Persevere in prayer. Prayer is such a vital aspect of our lives. It's our communication to God. And where we do it in our own way, in a quiet place, in our car, in a room, whatever it may be. I love coming in here in the morning when the light is on these windows and just sit And be with God and pray. The second thing that Paul tells us is contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. You know, if you're feeling bad, you've got a cross to bear. Show some love to somebody. Use your pocketbook, your credit card, whatever. Show some love to somebody in need. Give somebody a call who may be down more than you are, and they will lift your spirits to talk with one another. Extend hospitality to strangers. It's interesting how God may send some stranger in our lives that we would never think, and they can change our lives. And then he says, if it is possible. What? If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Live peaceably with all. You know, we live in an environment in our world. It's hard to find peace. We have conflicts. We have wars around our globe that we've gotten ourselves involved in. The political process of our nation is in shambles. The working of our government just doesn't seem to be doing what it needs to be. The machinery is just falling apart. It's hard to live peaceably 
That's why when Elmo says, how is everyone doing? People are having a hard time finding peace in our lives and peace in the world. But we've got to find those opportunities where we can live peaceably. And friends, it starts with us. It starts with us. Many times we are the one who create the unpeaceable moments of life. But it starts with us. And then the last thing that Jesus says is, follow me. Jesus is saying that Jesus is not only going to walk along with us on these crosses that we bear, but Jesus is saying, follow me, I will show you the way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Don't follow this person and this person and that person and this politician and this elector or whatever it may be who these persons are. But follow me. Follow Jesus. And Jesus is with us in every burden that we have. I love the illustration where he says about my yoke, this thing around our necks. Jesus will take that yoke and take it off of us. I was talking to someone before the service today and about issues in our lives and, and crosses that we bear. And I said, you know, you have to release it. Uh, I studied with a nun, uh, a Franciscan nun for several years. And one thing she taught me was burdens that we have in our lives. You've got to release it because it will just bear us down that we just get weighted with it and we go crash into the world. These burdens that we have, these crosses. Just ask God, ask Jesus to lift them off of our shoulders and they will do that. And we put it down and we say, God, I have released this cross to you. And God will take it and God will work wonders in our lives. So think about Elmo. How are things going? How would we answer? I hope that after this sermon that you've heard today, we'll have a better attitude of how life is going for each of us. Friends, we all bear crosses. I bear them. And we need one another. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and we all say together, Amen. So it's time for our offering, so let's see what we can do here. We'll ask the ushers to please.